Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to Trent, Texas. I'm going to show you guys a video of an unusual black beam spanning across the sky. Actually, it looked like it was pointing towards the ground. Also in this video, within the last few hours, the sun has cut loose a X1 class solar flare right there off the southeastern limb of the sun. And that's the region we've been waiting on in anticipation of some new active regions and sunspots. And, and sure enough, it's starting to get active down there in the southeastern quadrant of the sun, sending shockwaves through the solar system, interacting with the ionosphere of planet Earth, creating extreme ultraviolet radiation in the ionosphere, which caused a shortwave radio blackout. Our article over here at spaceweather.com talking about the most recent X1 class solar flare and looking at the Earth facing side of the sun. Video footage submitted by Scott out of Shelton, Connecticut. This is from today around 6 o'clock in the morning, and you can see those new active regions and sunspots down here in the southeastern limit the sun and that's where the x-class solar flare originated from again just a few hours ago that that sent a shock wave through the solar system causing a temporary radio blackout in the upper latitudes of north america checking in on the goes x-ray flux right there's the x1 class solar flare haven't seen one in a while we could see more as we move forward in time and here's a look at the d region of the ionosphere and that was during the radio blackout above north america courtesy of the most recent x one class solar flare and right there's the the large flare coming off the southeastern limb of the sun and looking at the schumann resonance you can see in the last 24 hours we've seen multiple large spikes detected in the schumann checking in on the power outage situation over here at poweroutage.us still 127,000 customers in oklahoma without electricity texas at 58,000, louisiana 57,000, 13,000 in mississippi and 10,000 customers still without electricity in Florida. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs and monitor the mighty supervolcano. All in all, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of magma intrusion today and not too many earthquakes. A few over here along the, the eastern edge of the caldera, but nothing major going on at the supervolcano. Checking in on Lake Mead. Haven't been over here in about five days and the trend continues upward. Lake Mead is starting to regain the water it's lost over the last year, year and a half. And looking at Lake Powell, same situation the graph is still going vertical all green and that means plus the the reservoir is filling back up so both the large reservoirs that sit on the colorado river lake powell and lake mead are showing signs of returning back to normal i want to take you guys now to trent texas video footage taken by stacy goes back to june 19th of 2023 a little over 24 hours ago they were driving down the road when out of nowhere this dark beam appears in the middle of the sky appearing to point down towards the ground i've seen this before myself a few years ago and what happens in this situation the sun angle has to be just right and the airplane has to be in just the right position and the contrail will cast a shadow through the sky in front of it kind of like what you see right here the the sun is bouncing off the back of these clouds right here and see the shadows that it's creating in the sky the same situation over here with this airplane creating a shadow in the sky that looks like a dark beam in the sky coming down towards the ground same situation here only the the beams are staying up in the sky because they're being created by the position of the clouds if the clouds weren't in just the right position and the sun wasn't in the exact position that it was in these beams wouldn't appear in the daytime sky so everything had to line up just right and the same thing applies over here with this airplane if it hadn't have been in the right place at the right time that beam wouldn't have shown up in the sky like it did looking very very cool i must admit you know everybody was looking at that as they were driving down the road so yes driving down the highway and seeing a dark beam come out of the middle of the daytime sky pointing down towards the ground in front of an airplane does indeed look a little bit nefarious i totally agree and speaking of of nefarious i'm asking a question here how do you guys pronounce nefarious do you pronounce it nefarious or do you pronounce it nefarious here recently i've heard both kind of like the word data i've heard people pronounce it data and i've heard people pronounce it data i don't think either one is incorrect necessarily but back to nefarious how do you pronounce it is it nefar or is it nefarious i would think if it was nefarious it would have an a i r that's just me personally that's why i've always pronounced it nefarious but again i don't think one's necessarily wrong compared to the other it's just i've heard different pronunciations of the word here 
recently, and I've always heard it pronounced nefarious. So leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And how do you pronounce data? Do you pronounce data or data? I know it's a little off topic, but it's just something I'm kind of curious about. And this video was out of Trent, Texas, and the video with the clouds and the shadows up in the sky was sent in by Marcus out of Louisville, Texas. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. And going from dark shadow beams in the sky to very colorful beams in the sky, some sort of a beam. Looks like a, a straight line in the sky. Video footage taken by Lori out of Benjamin, Utah. Goes back to June 17th of 2023 when she looked up in the daytime sky and noticed what looked like a linear rainbow. No rainbow to be found anywhere in the daytime sky, but this line here, this somewhat straight line, had all kinds of color in it. You've got teal and green and yellow and light red, light purple, orange that was scattered across the sky, not necessarily in a rainbow shape at all, appeared to be in a straight line across the sky above Benjamin, Utah, back on June 17th of 2023. So this past week, we've seen colorful lines in the sky, and we've seen the complete opposite, dark straight lines in the sky above Texas and above Utah. I also have a video to share with you guys of some recent ominous looking clouds above Pace, Florida. Video footage sent in by April from June 19th of 2023. Very photogenic, ominous looking sky here above Pace, Florida. A little over 24 hours ago, these clouds were above Pace, Florida. Video footage sent in by April from June 19th of 2023. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website that you can always find linked down below in the description box. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. Simply click on the red tab, drag and drop your video into the red banner. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.